Hello friends, warm welcome to this video. How to screenshot on laptop. Whether you're a student trying to capture lecture notes, a professional needing to document a bug or error, or just want to capture a memorable moment from a video, taking a screenshot can be a helpful tool. In this video, we'll be going over the different ways you can take screenshots on your laptop. So let's get started and learn how to capture those moments with a simple screenshot. Click on the Windows search bar at the bottom left and type the snipping tool. Click on the snipping tool app from the search bar to open it. Click on the mode drop-down menu and click on the full screen snip option to take the full screenshot. Let me resize this snipping tool window to show you more ways to take screenshots. Click on the mode menu again and this time we will click on the rectangular snip option. Now, drag the mouse cursor to select a particular area for a screenshot. This will take a screenshot of your selected area. If you want to take a screenshot of a custom shape or selection, then click on the Mode menu and click on the Freeform Snip option. This will convert your mouse cursor into a scissor icon. Click and draw the custom shape as per your requirement. This will take the screenshot as per your selected custom shape area. Let's close this Snipping Tool app. Press the Windows plus Print Screen keys on your keyboard to take a screenshot of the full screen. This will save your print screen file in the Pictures folder of your Windows. If you want to save it manually, then open the Paint app, and then click on the Paste icon at the top to paste the screenshot. You can save this file as JPEG or PNG. If you want to take a screenshot of an active window, then press the Alt plus Windows plus Screen keys on your keyboard. Click on the Screenshot Saved notification, and then click on the folder icon. Click on the Continue button, and this will open the saved location of the screenshot. Please do not forget to like this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more upcoming tech support videos. Thank you for watching this video.